Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook community for epic weekly giveaways. What's up, Airsofters? It's time for another top 10. This Dude, time, we're... <laughs> What's up, guys? My name's Mason, and this is my top favorite AEGs of all time. 12, to be exact. A little bit about myself before we get into it. I got my first airsoft gun in about 2004. I've been airsofting ever since. I uh, was a referee for a number of years, indoor field, and I've been working here at EVIC for the past two years. It's been a blast. So without further ado, let's get into my top 12 AEGs of all time. Now my first gun on this list might come as a bit of a surprise because I bring to you the JG Scorpion AEP. I get it, it's not quite an AEG, it's like, it's tiny. But that's the point, is this reminds me of my early days in Airsoft when all I had was a spring pistol and one of those mini electrics that runs on the, you know, four double A's, it's, it's like tiny MP5 gravity fed hop. It was honestly a blast. And while this guy is not necessarily a performer by any means, I mean, I got a battery in here, listen to this. Oh yeah, all of like 100 FPS. It reminds me that this is what Airsoft is all about. Silly fun. I mean, it, it just makes me smile every time I pick this up and hopefully you have an Airsoft gun in your collection that does that too. Oh, and uh, the other name for this, by the way, is the Club. Those who know, know. And guys, keep in mind as we go through these lists, this is not the list of the best AEGs of all time. These are just our favorites. And like I said, this one reminds me of my early days and honestly, I think you'd be hard pressed to find more fun in Airsoft for less than a hundred bucks. That is, of course, unless you also have a drum mag for this thing. <laughs> All right, guys, let's continue on with this list of my favorite AEGs. Next on my list is an AEG I'm rather fond of. That is the G3. Now this one is by Matrix, OEM'd by JG, and I gotta say, I just am really quite in love with the HK format, especially in this uh, long 308 style right here. Of course, you can HK slap it, all kinds of good. Now, LCT also makes some great G3 models, but they are full metal. And while that's fun for a lot of people, for me, fun is a little bit more important than realism. Now, it's not for everybody, you know, you want something more realistic to go with the full metal one. This one's all polymer, keeps it lightweight, but you still got a really long barrel and honestly one of the best hop-up designs in Airsoft, in my opinion. You can really reach out with this right out of the box. Plus you got that big 308 mag, you can put drums in here and uh, yeah, you can get rails for it. I like the classic green. Uh, that one wasn't quite in stock at the time of this video. These are very popular. So check them out on our website. And also these are like under $150. So really great value. All right guys, let's check out number 10 on my list of favorite AEGs. Number 10 on my favorite AEGs list is the Chris Vector. This one just happens to be in white, which uh, Alpine white, I think. And that's uh, really quite cool. Like many airsofters, I am constantly building my collection and this is certainly on the list. Just haven't quite pulled the trigger on it just yet. Uh, I chose this just because it represents for me a change in direction for airsoft. When, uh, when it came out, it seemed to me like everybody else was just kind of following whatever TM did, and this is completely different. So it was very exciting when it first came out those years ago, and it's still a great performer today. I've seen a lot of crazy awesome builds with these things, and I've been wasted by quite a few of them on the airsoft field. So the Chris Vector, you can find it on our website, is one of my favorite AEGs of all time. And of course, you can find it in our website in all kinds of different colors for about 450 bucks. Next on my list of favorite AEGs of all time, and by the way, if you haven't left a comment with your list of favorite AEGs, do so. We'd love to read it. Maybe you can share it with somebody else and help them find something that they've always been looking for. Anyway, my next on this list is the 552 Commando. The keen eye among you might notice that this is the gas blowback model by GHK. The truth is that these are very popular in AEG form, and so I couldn't quite have one in front of the camera for you right now. So I grabbed the gas blowback model. This one's still really cool. Now, I was first introduced to the 552 Commando in the video game series Rainbow Six, specifically the Vegas ones. Rainbow Six Vegas, Vegas 2, some of my favorites. It is just, it always struck me as a really cool, well thought out platform. I just love everything about it, except for the magazines. They have those lugs on either side, kind of like the G36, and it just makes it kind of difficult to find a, uh, magazine holster option or mag pouch option for them. Otherwise, just aesthetically, I can't say enough about how cool I really think this looks. 
And you can find the AEG version of this 552 Commando on our website for around the $200 mark. Make sure you check it out. Number eight on my list of favorite AEGs of all time is the SEMA AK series of AEGs. This one is my personal one. Uh, happens to be in plum furniture, which I think is really slick looking. I can't say enough good things about the SEMA AK platform. For the money, they're really hard to beat. You can get them in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and styles and folding stocks, non-folding stocks, plum furniture, what have you. Customization options are plentiful both inside and outside, but really out of the box, these are amazing performers, again, for the price, which can range from as low as like 120 to 140, and it, it can get on up there depending on the, the body style and the different accoutrements you have on there. But uh, I mentioned I was a ref earlier, and while refereeing at that field, we ran uh, M4s and also SEMA AKs, and the SEMA AKs outlasted any brand of M4 that we bought in, they just kept on chugging through the use and abuse of being an indoor rental gun. So really, they are built like tanks. Again, for the money, hard to beat. See my AK, check them out. Number seven on my list of favorite AEGs is the LCT Vitez PP19. This is a gun that I've wanted in my personal collection since I first laid eyes on it. It's the same size and form factor as that SEMA AK that I showed you earlier, but it comes with really cool SMG style magazines that really add this, they, they lend this platform a whole new, really operator look. I just, I really love it. These are excellent performers out of the box. Again, customization options are out there. You can get them on our website for about 300 bucks. Check it out. Number six on my list of favorite AEGs of all time is the M14. This one is by SEMA. The GMP is also really good. Now specifically, I like the SOCOM variant just because of this. It just looks so cool and it feels really good in the hand. You got the classic M1 Garand style ergonomics, of course, with the removable box magazine, which can be a little bit tricky to get in there. It just takes a little bit of practice. But um, I, I tell you, these things can sing if you tune them just right. Out of the box, they shoot really good, really far. You got a nice long barrel length in there. And uh, of course, tons of battery space in the stock. I'm particularly partial to the M14 because it was the first AEG I ever bought. And uh, I just have a lot of fond memories of uh, you know, shooting, shooting my friends in the woods with it. And um, then when I moved to indoor CQB stuff, it wasn't quite the best. It's a little bit on the long side, but for outdoors, these things are awesome. A little bit on the heavy side, so make sure that uh, you're prepared for that if you get into this platform. They come in uh, the more classic variants, you know, wood stocks, longer barrels. Uh, I like the ones with the optics mount right here. That way you can just run a, a dot forward of the action and uh, really quick and handy to get into action. So, and you can find the M14 on our website for around the $300 mark. Check it out. Number five on my list of favorite AEGs of all time has to be the SEMA QBS line of M4s. The QBS line just has it right on so many levels. It's got a nice clean M-lock rail, and of course a nice classic looking stock here, but of course the magic is that QBS system, which allows you to just rotate the buffer tube about 45 or 90 degrees, comes right out, you can change your spring, slap it right back, it looks great. Uh, Ryan did an excellent review of these on his top 10 video, make sure you check that out, and he actually showed you how that comes apart. So really that, and then SEMA's just really upped their game with the Platinum line. These things are ultra snappy out of the box. We actually did a full review video of these too, make sure you watch that if you're more interested on seeing how these perform in a more real world setting. The best part about these is probably the price. For under 300 bucks, closer to actually 280, you can pick up one of these guys and I'll tell you what, you're set right out of the box. Check them out. Now before we get to number four on my list, I wanna ask you, can you guess what my number one is? What is my favorite AEG of all time? Bet you can't guess it. Leave a comment, see if you're right. All right, number four on my favorite AEGs of all time. It's really honestly hard to choose, but I settled on the LR300 by a &K. This baby just aesthetically really hits it for me. And I gotta be honest, I fell in love with this thing when I saw it in the video game series Stalker. If like me, you wanna bring some of that Stalker gameplay to the airsoft field, these are available, but the trick is finding the correct stock. Uh, we currently sell them with this folding stock, which is an LR300 stock, just not the same one they used in the game. So as you can see, I like it so much that I bought it in both lengths, the long and the short. I decided to put the stock on the short one, just, ah, it just feels good. So that big old front end gives you a lot to wrap your hand around. And historically, these guns are cool because they are the first 
really production piston driven AR-15 style because you can fold that stock, you don't have a buffer tube. So really pretty cool, historically speaking. And of course, it comes from one of my favorite video games of all time. If you want to add the ANK LR300 to your arsenal, you can find it on our website for about 260 bucks. All right, guys, we are now in the top three. If you haven't placed a guess for what my number one is, make sure you do so right now. As you can see, my third top favorite AEG of all time is the GNP Stoner Mark 23. It is one of our favorite guns here on the marketing team. This is the one that we take to events. As you can see, we painted it. We run it real hard. It's got the internals tricked out. You can These things sing right out of the box. For an LMG, it's pretty small and light, but it can still really send them out there at a high volume of fire. Again, there's just so much good to say. All I can really tell you is you need one. And you can get them on our website when they're in stock at about 550 bucks. Number two on my list had to be the Tokyo Marui A12 Sledgehammer. Now, when I saw this come out, I knew I had to get it. It is just one of the most unique airsoft guns out there. If you don't know, it has three inner barrels and it's electric. So you can hold down the trigger on full auto and throw three BBs out there with each shot. And each barrel has its own adjustable hop-up and the two barrels on the bottom, the hop-up is slightly canted left or right. So you can tune the spread of the BBs as it goes down range. It's really, really innovative. Ryan featured this gun on his favorite AEG video. Make sure you check that out. I'm not cool enough to actually own one of these. This one's Mason's. I might, I might steal potentially just, just everything. <laughs> and uh, he did a really good job talking about it. And he of course had the drum mag. I forgot to bring it today, so I couldn't show it to you, but this is what the stick mag looks like. It holds 93 rounds, that goes really quickly. So if you get one of these, get the drum mag, seriously, because reloading this thing is not the easiest. You can find the Tokyo Marui AA-12 on our website for about $470. All right, guys, it's time for number one. Have you guessed it? Last chance. All right, I'll show you. The MP5 in any form factor is my favorite AG of all time. Yes, I'm a bit of an HK fanboy. I love the MP5. This one right here actually, not the one I'm laying down, but this one right here was the second AG I ever owned. It was an ICS MP5 and uh, I've done a bit of work to it. Magpul 4 end, I've got a Tokyo Marui uh, tracer unit right there. And, uh, and this thing has served me well throughout the years. I just, uh, this is very, very near and dear to my heart. It's got tons of sentimental value. So this one I've had for years. Recently, I acquired, and by recently, I mean within the last five years or so, I acquired an older classic Army Full Metal SD. And uh, this is quickly becoming my favorite. I got those old school hose clamps on there and I actually put a tracer unit inside of the suppressor. So this thing's all tricked out. Now, honestly, the drum mag is not the most aesthetically pleasing, but uh, it's kind of fun when you're in CQB. Here, let me uh, put a stick mag in there for you. There we go. So if you have an MP5 in any variant, whether you've got the SD, a classic, uh, folding stock, full stock, MP5K, thumbs up from me, my favorite AEG type of all time. Guys, that does it for this video. That was my favorite AEGs of all time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any ideas for other top 10 videos we should do, please leave a comment below. It really helps us out. Remember, play hard, play safe, play responsibly. Thanks for watching. Number six on my list of favorite AEGs of all time the M14, mostly because of that jackhammer in the background. No, that's not the sound of the M14. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs>